Good morning everyone, how is everyone doing? I have just woken up. Um, the time right now is 10.05, which is somewhat early for me. I slept at 2 a.m. yesterday, um, so I'm surprised I'm even up to be honest. But anyway, I'm just gonna quickly go do my morning stuff because I feel really weird that I haven't brushed my teeth yet. So yeah, so I'm gonna quickly go get ready and I'll be back. See that bit sticking out there? Like that over there. It's on the same side here, look. See that sticking out? I hate that. I hate cutting my own hair, but it looks super weird. So I'm gonna try chop that off. Wish me luck, people. <laughs> right guys, so I am back. So I don't know why I feel really weird. I hate filming when I haven't brush my teeth or wash my face or anything like that but anyway so today i just thought i'll film like a productive day in life just because i just felt like the last few days have just been the same like i've got up ate and slept and that was it do you know what i mean i just didn't feel like i got anything done so today is going to change that and the thing is it's not like i don't have anything to do i have exams coming up i've got about a million and one things that i can do but I just refused to start any of it so today i'm just gonna force myself to do that but yeah it's gonna be like a really chilled video as well i'm not gonna be like rushing myself or anything like that so i'm not gonna have breakfast just yet because my room is an absolute state and i like having breakfast in peace and when it's clean so i'm just gonna have a breakfast bar um just for now and i'm gonna go clean my room and then i will be back so i'm actually gonna listen to a podcast while i'm doing that i have been really into podcasts recently like when i'm out and about i don't really listen to music as much i listen to podcasts because they're free and why not you know you learn something new so today i'm gonna listen to how to design a gender bias out of your workplace which which is so relevant and sounds so interesting so yeah this TED Talk features gender equity consultant Sarah Sanford. Right guys, so it's a few hours later. Um, I quickly made myself a to-do list for today just because I felt like I was being productive for all the wrong reasons. But now I've got exactly what I have to do and that way I can just kind of tick things off as I do it, I suppose just freestyling it. So I have got so much to do today. So I need to go to Sainsbury's today just because I don't have any food at my place at the minute and I don't really want to order online because I'm not a vulnerable customer so I don't want to have to waste this slot. Um, I need to make lunch. I am actually planning on making masala chips, which I've never done before. I know it's been going around on TikTok and it looks absolutely delicious so i'm actually really looking forward to giving that a try and then after that i need to update my cv and i'll also be giving a lot of helpful tips on how to make the best cv that i've learned over the past few months so updating my cv has been on my to-do list for months now but i haven't really got around to doing it but you know what it's not like i'm doing anything better so 
I'm just gonna update my CV. I'm gonna thank myself in the future for it. And then it's the time of the month where I need to also update my finances and my expenses, um, finding out how much I spent, etc., etc. Payday is coming up soon, so I need to do it ASAP. And then in the afternoon, I'm planning on making chocolate brownies now in my last video in the day in life at home i was planning on making chocolate brownies i bought like the mix for it but i didn't end up making the brownies in the video so i just thought i'd try it today and well, i think it'll be a good way for me to kind of finish the day and like reward myself for everything that i've done in the day so i'm going to quickly go to sainsbury's um because i do need to make lunch soon and i am starting to get very hungry and i'm just going to go for a bit of a stroll um listening to good music it's a beautiful day outside so yeah i think it'll be good for me i think it'll be really good for me because i have been out in the past few days um so yeah i will see you guys in a bit <laughs> Right guys, so I'm back. I just went to Sainsbury's, got a few things, and I just thought I'd sit down and talk for a while. I've got myself some snacks, so I've just got myself some flatbread and some hummus. So I got news that my marketing results came out, and I was gonna film like a reaction segment to this video, but then I just gave into the temptation, and it turns out that I got 57% in that assignment, which was a bit of a shock considering the amount of work that me and my group did <laughs> i mean it is what it is i'm not too disappointed but at the same time like because we worked really hard on it it was just a bit of a shock but i mean there are so many people things out there to be worrying about but yeah so that's the lowest mark that i got this year what a great way to humble myself anyway let's have this delicious flatbread and some hummus Even though I've just eaten, I am still hungry, so time to make some masala chips. I am really looking forward to this. Um, I see this go viral on TikTok. So yeah, let's head to the kitchen. So this is such a simple recipe. The first thing that you want to do is you want to put some chips in an oven. It could be any chips of your choice and it doesn't have to be cooked all the way through. We are purely doing this for the colour and the crunch and we will recook this later on. And then while we're waiting for the chips to be cooked, we can start making the sauce. So what you want to do is you want to cut half an onion and add some garlic and some ginger. Once your onions are golden brown, you can add some spices such as chili powder, curry powder, salt and pepper. You could also at this point add some water just to really help release those flavours. So after about 2 or 3 minutes add some chopped tomatoes and then add some tomato paste and then let that cook down for a bit. And then finally add tomato ketchup, chilli sauce, honey, barbecue sauce and let that all cook down for about 10 minutes on a very low heat. I've also added some coriander just to add some colour. So yeah, after 10 minutes, just chuck your chips in and keep mixing and then boom, you're done. Guys, look at that. That looks absolutely beautiful. I am so excited. Right, let's do this. Mmm, that is amazing. So now that I've eaten, it's time to do some solid productive work. So the first thing that I need to do is that I need to go update my CV because the last time that I did that was about six months ago and a lot has happened then. I've changed from two different jobs. So yeah, I do need to keep it relevant. So as I mentioned in a video, I think it was about two weeks ago, I mentioned that alongside my degree, I also have an employability workshop per week. And from that, we learn about CV tips and how to make your LinkedIn profile stand out. And I feel like over the past six seven months i've learned so much about cvs and the thing is a lot of people don't talk about it and the videos that i've seen on youtube about how to improve your cv are just you know like you just hear the same thing over and over and over again and i feel like the advice that i can give you today will be of benefit hopefully fingers crossed so yeah <laughs> Right. 
Alright guys, so the time has come for me to share some CV tips. So I've just got my laptop here and I've written five tips that can improve your CV. So the first tip that I can give you is to write in the third person. So don't include words like I, he or she because all of those things are already implied. And also talking in the third person is a lot more formal. So my second tip that I can give you is don't include your full address, your age, your date of birth, your mountain status or your ethnicity slash nationality. Don't let them even assume your age. Like, So for example, in your education section, don't include the dates of when you went to school because there's absolutely no reason for your employees to know that because if you did include those dates you can figure out how old you are for example if they saw like three years ago you went to college then they would know that you're about 22 21 you know so don't even let them assume that I mean, some people might disagree with me but i personally feel like i've gotten better interviews after i made that change so my third tip is for your employment section so for this section you want to keep it very very concise and very straight to the point so the way that i do it is i have the title of the job and then i have the date and then under that it's all in bullet points and make sure that it's also in third person so in each bullet point you want to include your responsibilities and also your duties but you want to make sure that you're starting each bullet point with a doing word i think it's called an adverb english isn't my first language but yeah you want to start with a doing word so for example engaging assisting communicating coordinating handling all of these words are active words and really highlight and showcase your skills. So my, so my fourth tip that I can give you is to keep your CV to one page maximum. Some jobs require you to have a longer CV, but I would personally stick to one page. Employers on average spend about 10 seconds per CV. So you want to make sure that it's very concise and you can kind of see your whole profile in one um you know what I mean? Also, if you feel like you have too much things in your CV, then I will take out some of those not that important things from your CV. For example, any volunteering work or any work experience when you were in like secondary school, because those, I mean, in my opinion, aren't seen as that valuable as opposed to like your actual experience. But of course, if you don't really have a lot of things to talk about, include your work experience, include volunteering, because those will make you a well-rounded person. By the way, you may have to like play around with margins and also the formatting of the page just to make sure that you optimize all the space that you have on that one page. So the final tip that I can give you is to be really concise with your education section. So for example, a year ago, I used to be someone that included every single one of my GCSE grades. And now that I've you know got a lot more experience and have more things to talk about, I've realized that, you know, that's not really necessary and it's just trivial and it just takes up like space that is really crucial. So what I've done now is I've just kept it as like, for example, I think it's like I received 11 A stars to A, including GCSE maths and English, because obviously those are the most important GCSEs, but your employer doesn't need to know what you got for GCSE music, you know, because all of those things are just not relevant and um, yeah, just keep it very simple and very concise. So yeah, that's five tips on how to make a decent CV. Um, I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes updating my finances and also my expenses and then um, what else do I have to do today? I need to go edit and upload a video, update my finances, which I'm doing now. And that's pretty much it. I feel like I've done a lot. I mean, updating my CV was on my to-do list for weeks. And now that I've done it, I just feel like today has just been like successful, but yeah. <laughs>
almost the most productive three hours in my whole life. <laughs> I feel so much more confident. You know what? I don't know why I did this before. I spent the last three hours doing past papers, writing revision cards, and and I feel so confident to set the exam on Monday. But anyway, so now is my time. Um, so I spent the last three hours working really hard, kind of just making sure that I got everything ready for Monday because I am working during the weekend, so I won't really have much time to study. So yeah, the next two hours-ish, I'm gonna literally just spend that time watching Netflix, watching YouTube videos, and eating amazing snacks because I deserve it. And yeah, I have a few things to catch up on, like show-wise. Um, I've been watching Tiger King, which is amazing. If you haven't seen that already, make sure you give that a go. So these are my snacks. I'm having Doritos dip with sensations and I've also got two chocolate crepes here and I am watching season three of Money Heist so I am so looking forward to finishing this today I'm literally gonna watch it all in one sitting um, so yeah I'm looking forward to it Right guys, so I am back. Um, it's a few hours later. I ended up just watching one episode of Money Heist before just having a nap for about three hours. So yeah, I've just woken up. Sadly, it's not the end of my day today. Um, I've still got things to do. I'm probably gonna be editing this video for the next three or four hours, you know, given that I already just had a nap. I also have work quite late tomorrow. I've got work at 3.30. So that gives me more flexibility to sleep really late and wake up really late. So yeah, it's gonna be such <laughs> A bitch to edit so <laughs> yeah we've got to do it haven't we we've got to do it right guys so it's super late in the night <laughs> i just spent like the last three hours editing but yeah i think i'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching so much thank you